Hello, my name is Dr. James Clark and I am the Programme Director of the MSc in Human and Applied Physiology at King's College London. This short presentation outlines the content, the structure and the ethos behind the MSc in Human and Applied Physiology. The MSc programme started in 1979. It has adopted many formats and its current format has been in existence since 2006. Consequently, there are many alumni of the course most of whom still work in academia or industry in a human physiological science or biomedical science and research. There are key elements to the course that are worth considering should you wish to make an application. This is the original and foremost full-time program in human and applied physiology in the UK. You would receive training in a wide variety of practical laboratory skills pertaining to human physiological research. It would provide you with a knowledge base of human physiology which is particularly relevant for careers in biomedical research and medicine. You would receive lectures from world leading experts in a variety of different fields from scuba diving, aerospace, aviation, mountaineering, thermoregulation, skeletal muscle and cardiovascular systems. You would receive in-depth practical experiences and field trips to leading UK institutions and industry and I'll go into a little bit more detail about the practical element of the course in the future. This also offers a unique exposure of human physiology applied to aviation and military medicine which is only available at King's College London. I'm now going to describe the content of the course. Starting in semester A, which starts in September and runs until December, we have three modules, two of which are credit bearing and one of which is academic and skills development. This module consists of seminars and lectures covering topics such as ethics, data analysis, writing and presentation skills. The two credit bearing modules, cardiovascular and respiratory physiology and muscle exercise physiology, which are held on Thursday and Friday and Monday and Tuesday respectively, include lectures, laboratory practicals and tutorials. These modules are both assessed. 60% of the assessment is through an examination which is held in January following the completion of these two modules. You will also be asked to give an oral presentation which is worth 20% of your mark and a last 10 minutes with 5 minutes for questions. You will also be asked to prepare an extended practical report, a 1500 to 2000 word report consisting of introduction, materials and methods, data, analysis, discussion and conclusions and a reference section, much the same as a paper you would submit to the Journal of Physiology. Semester B starts in January and starts with a written examination. We have two three-hour examinations for the skeletal muscle and the cardiorespiratory module and this leads on then into three credit-bearing modules that last until April. Key topics in health and disease consists of lectures, seminars and tutorials. It is assessed through an essay and a presentation. The library project is based on an essay of a topic of your choice in the context of human physiological research. The literature review itself is worth 80% of the marks and this is accompanied by a poster presentation worth 20% of marks. Posters are often used in academia and industry to share information with a wider audience and is a useful skill to learn. The third module, Human Physiology in Extreme Environments, consists of lectures, laboratory practicals and a number of field trips. This is also assessed through examination worth 60% of the credits, through a presentation and extended practical report. The third semester, semester C, which starts after the May written examination period, consists of a 12-week laboratory-based research project. This is worth 60 credits. The project can be the student's own idea or it can be a project offered by a member of staff. Of course all studies in human subjects require approval from the College Research Ethics Committee and approval of course must be obtained before a project can begin. We normally ask for a written outline, a one page abstract of the project to be submitted for a formal approval before it may begin. This is assessed through written dissertation worth 80% of credits and a 20% credit presentation in the same format as before, a 10 minute presentation with a 5 minutes allowed for questions. This is your MSc. Should you wish to undertake this MSc, the pass mark is 50%. You would achieve a merit above 60% and then distinctions are awarded above 70%.
An important note is that all modules must be passed. There are no optional modules on this MSc program. It is a full-time program from September until August and all modules must be passed. There are a number of key transferable skills that you will obtain undertaking this MSc program. One of which is data mining. During your library project, your key topics project, and your undertaking of practical write-ups and your research project, you will have to undertake a lot of online literature searching to find out information. There is a lot of practical laboratory work on this course. There are 10 practicals you will undertake in the first term and then at least two weeks of field trips in the second term which are five-day working week and a 12-week laboratory research project. You will learn a lot about experimental design while on the course as we do get the MSc students themselves to design some of the practical protocols. Of course you will get extensive experience in data collection and handling with the single, group and research project experiments. You will learn a lot about presentation skills, not only in writing but in oral and poster presentations. Of course you will also learn a lot about time management. A number of academics within the Department of Physiology and the Centre of Human Aerospace Physiological Sciences at King's College London are involved in the running of this course and the administrative staff offered to assist. It's important to remember that human physiology is a practical and very fun subject. These photographs were all taken in this year's MSc cohort undertaking studies at the University of Portsmouth, at the RAF Centre of Aviation Medicine in Henlo and in our laboratories at Guy's. It is the enthusiasm and willingness of the students to take part in the practical sessions and field trips that are the key to the success of this program. We take 12 students every year and those 12 students are both the experimenters and the subjects in a number of laboratory based practicals. We take students from varying backgrounds biomedical science, medicine, physiotherapy, physiology, sports science and many others. We welcome applications on the Human and Applied Physiology MSc at King's College London from any individual holding or expecting to hold an upper second class honours degree or equivalent from an international university in a biomedical or related subject. If you'd like further information about the Human and Applied Physiology MSc, please just search for Human and Applied Physiology MSc in any web search and you'll find information online. Alternatively, you can visit the King's College website at www.kcl.ac.uk and search for Human and Applied Physiology. If you are a prospective applicant and you wish to contact me directly about your suitability or an application, please use the details listed on the screen.